Hi there, welcome to my channel. So this is the part two of the AWS Open Search. So in my last video, I just showed you how to uh, run an Open Search cluster. So in today's video, I'll show you like how we can use the creating and searching documents in AWS Open Search Service. So last time you can see we have this uh, Open Search dashboard URL. So you can click on that and you can use your master username and password to log in. So it will show you two options over here. So ingest your data, add the sample, sample data, or you can manage your data. So we'll use this option, interact with the Open Search API. Now you can see it's a welcome, uh, showing you the welcome console over here. Quick enter into UI, that is two uh, panels are there editor and a response pane is there. So we can use the editor to put our request and we can get our results. So while typing, it will give you like assistance. You can use the enter or tab in order to complete the query. So uh, let's proceed with this. So you can see the interface over here. You can also import, you can also export. So all the options are there. So I'll just show you some few basic commands. So make it sure you can see your cluster should be there, your domain should be there. So those are the prerequisites you have and open source service domain should be there. Now, once we navigate to the dashboard, so let's say, let's start with some, I'll just remove this one. So let's start with some basic one, uh, put, I'll just show you put and get delete bulk records and all simple, simple, I will show you. So let's say fruits. Flash. So it will create a doc and the index that we are going to pass ID basically. So you can some put some over here. Main. root name, you can put some more, let's say color, right, so just put a comma in between those two values. Then you can just execute this one. So you can see request in progress. So you can see index fruits, ID one, version one created, total number of shards, successful, sequence number, primary term, so these are all the details will be there. So it will automatically, so this is just one uh, ID we are creating. Now let's say we want to insert some other, let's say orange. So I will not pass this ID over here and I can just put the color, let's say orange is orange and I can Put some classification. Something, let's say it's a sweet. Okay, now if I execute this one, uh, there are some errors you can see over here in the corner, expected. So you can utilize this interface and execute. Okay, there is some, some mistake over here. Okay, so we didn't change this one. Let's say uh, fruits, let's say fruit underscore C. Let's say those fruits, because fruits is already there. So this is putting fruit underscore C. So there is some issue, let me check over here method put allowed. Okay, I'm making a mistake over here. So we need to use a, uh, in order to, the basically when you're doing a put, you're creating an ID and then it's going the value. But here in case of like, uh, when you want to uh, generate uh, ID automatically, so in that case, you have to do a post request instead of put. So you can see I'm not passing the ID. 
same I'm using the fruits and click. So you can see successful one. So fruits has been created one with the fruit with the name orange has been created. So this is how you can create by using a post, uh, post command. So if you want to update, let's say there is some data is there, like let's say you want to post fruits slash underscore docs. So you can see the ID over here, this is the ID. So I'll just use my the previous one, that is one, that was Apple. So I will just, so in that one, I didn't add any classification. So let's say I will just rename name, Other. So let's do a post over here. You can execute like this. So you can see it has been updated successfully. Now, if you want to retrieve and check whether it is correct or not, so we will just put it over here, our get. So remember that like whenever you don't want to put some ID, you can utilize the post. It will automatically generate an ID, roots slash underscore search, query by name. So any letter that is starting with A star, when starting with A and ending with anything. So you can just execute this one. So you can see we have over here, apple and color is green. So this is how you can see we updated by using this one. Even we can add it over here some uh, extra key pair value like classification, let's say we can put it like star or something. Again, I'm missing the commas over here and you can just execute this part. Now again, we can run this one. So you can see your record has been updated. So you can uh, just, you can also utilize if you don't want to filter your records, like you can have some more advanced searches, like you can have a request body, like you can like find for some term and also those are like more advanced. So if you want to delete, you can use the delete. But before performing the delete, uh, we can have some uh, bulk operation also, like uh, we can use the post so you can see intelligence is also coming. You can just use the tab to complete it. Slash underscore bulk. And you can just, uh, you need to type in all those values. So I'll just show you one or two, like how we can have it in the bulk. So create, so I'll just copy paste create, then we have the, let's pass us the index. Then let's say that index is, oh, this is fruits. Then we can, Pass it over here, 
underscore ID, let's say 45. Okay, so that's all. Then we can put the values over here. You can copy paste from the above name. Let's say, okay, let's put Kiwi. And let's put some color. And let's don't put the classification and all. So similarly, you can copy this one and you can just paste it over here and you can change the values over here. Let's say 46. So this is how you can have a bulk post you can have. And you can just run this. Okay, that's it. So it has been created. You can use a search. You can type it over here, any name starting with M, and you can check whether it's big there or not. Okay, that's it, Mango is there. Okay, next thing that I want to show you over here, if you want certain like, uh, names and all, you can search it like in the advanced queries, you can search it, like you can define or sort it, like lots of options are there. This is a simple query. So then uh, if you want to uh, delete, so you just mention delete, flash fruits. So this will delete. So it will, uh, it will like basically uh, perform a query string and that will, like it will delete the whole, the fruit. So I'm just not deleting, just you can execute this one. It will, all the things will get deleted. So this is how you can delete. And if you want to do the re-indexing and all, you need to make it show your properties and all you need to set it up to delete and recreate the index. So it will start from the beginning. So this is how we can have it. So remember this uh, post when you're not providing, let me put it over here. So even you can utilize like this, you can see I have used the post. You can, when you don't want to provide the ID, you can just use the post. If you want to provide the ID, you can just use the put. Okay, better you can just change this one to put like this. So these are the few commands. There are many more things are there to explore. You can like a basic search, advanced search. So how we, how the indexing of the data works and all. So you can just uh, export this later on. You can see, you can have this file downloaded. So sense.json, I'll just open the file. Okay, so you can see all the details are mentioned over here. Text, post fruits, orange, sweet. Then we have, so it is just like saving it like a query or whatever things we have performed. So this was just a, a quick introduction, how we can uh, utilize this creating and searching for documents in the AWS Open Search. So this is how we can use the HTTP request to create documents, automatically the create documents and create the IDs for them. 
and just perform some basic and advanced searches on your document. So I hope I was able to explain you how to utilize this open search, this uh, dev tool. So see you in the next video. Please do like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Share my channel. Thanks for watching.